my great privilege to be here today. It's my first time, so I'm looking forward to it. I hope you enjoy it. And um, you might notice from the order of service that uh, Etrick and Yarrow also have a local minister, Reverend Jim Wallace, is over here. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that Jim will be doing this next year. <laughs> we belong to the earth. All things are connected in the web of life. We are merely a strand in it. So praise God for the gift of creation held together in the redeeming love of Christ. All people that on earth do dwell. George will lead us in the singing. All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. His heaven with them is praise for hell. Glory before it and rejoice. Now the blessing is at the foot of the page there. We say it to each other. Bless to us, O God, the sun that is above us, the earth that is beneath us, the bread that is around us, your image is within us. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. So much has changed in our lives over the last few months. So many restrictions. And yet so much creativity too. With the COVID-19 restrictions still in place, we are unable to worship in the hills above St Mary's Loch. But instead, we worship together, reaching round the world through YouTube. And it would be lovely for us to know where you have been watching from. At the end of the service, there'll be a slide which tells you how you can contact us to let us know. We can also offer you, and we have indeed, you've just watched some of the film that John Smale took for, from the 2018 uh, service. And we're very grateful to John for allowing us to use that footage. We hope to be back in person next year. Christians down through the years have consistently faced persecution. Persecution for the beliefs and their actions that result from their beliefs. They've chosen different ways of avoiding or working through that persecution. The church in China and in Russia went underground and flourished. Back in the 17th century, covenanting times, Presbyterian covenanter preachers and their followers were barred from worshipping in church. And so they did the opposite of going underground. They went overground. They went up into the hills to worship. And that worship flourished. Blankets. Blankets were taken with those who fled to the hills to provide them with something to surround them, to uphold them, to protect them. There's an old song that goes, I'm my beloved's and he is mine and his banner over me is love. It's a verse from the book in the Old Testament, Song of Solomon. But that is the Christian belief. God loves you and God loves me. Whoever we are and whatever we've done or not done, God loves us. And that surely brings us a security. We all know how much Linus needed his security blanket. Surely we too are not that much different. And we can have the blanket of God's love around us. 
as we live our lives in an insecure world, we need something to hold on to, just as our forefathers needed security in their time. Let me read you verses from Psalm 91, verses 1 to 4 and 14 and 15, and I read it from the Message Translation. <clears throat> you who sit down in the high God's presence, spend the night in Shaddai's shadow, say this, God, you're my refuge. I trust in you and I'm safe. That's right, he rescues you from hidden traps, shields you from deadly da hazards. His huge outstretched arms protect you. Under them you're perfectly safe. His arms fend off all harm. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care if you'll only get to know and trust me. Call me and I'll answer. Be at your, be at your side in bad times and I'll rescue you and throw you a party. On cold days, isn't it good to surround yourself with a blanket? Nice and cosy and snug and warm, it brings you a feeling of security. God's arms of love provide those who allow themselves to be enveloped by them to experience that kind of snugness, that kind of security and safety. As a mother gathers her chicks under her wing, we're told, so God's love will bring us into his closer presence. So close, we can hear his heartbeat of love. Just think of the forgiving father's outstretched arms in the story of the prodigal son. Think too of Jesus' arms outstretched on the cross, saying, I love you to all in the world. We read in Hebrews 1, chapter, uh, chapter 1, verse 3, it says this, Jesus reflects the brightness of God's glory and is the exact likeness of God's own being, upholding all things by his powerful word. When I go on a picnic, I often take a blanket and I put it onto the ground. Underneath me, no, I'm sitting on a seat today. But there are times that I go on a picnic when I use a blanket underground and it upholds me, keeps me away from the creepy crawlies, the scratchy grass, the dampness underground. It upholds me and keeps me safe. The writer to the Hebrews tells us that Jesus upholds the universe with the power of God's word. He, after all, is the one who was there at the beginning of creation, bringing order from chaos, light from darkness, life from death. The Gospel of John speaks eloquently of Jesus being the Word of God, the Word who camped out on earth to bring us hope and a future. Upholding, sustaining is something the everlasting love of God does for us. Not only are we surrounded by the security of God's love, we are upheld by it throughout time and beyond time. That surrounding, that upholding, brings us a protection that no other can. Had I been up in the hills, I would have had a tent. A 
a tent above me, bringing me protection. Jesus invites God the Father as he prays for his disciples. Keep them safe by the power of your name. I do not ask you to take them out from the world, but I do ask you to keep them safe, to protect them from the evil one. That was a prayer Jesus prayed for the disciples that were surrounding him on earth. It's a prayer that Jesus prays for all his disciples for all time to come. Jesus offers us his protection. The verse from Song of Solomon goes, starts, he welcomes us into his banqueting house. His banqueting house food. And his banner over me is love. Hopefully this blanket will have helped us to think about the truth that we are enabled to sup with our Lord as we put our trust in the one who promises to surround us. Surround us with his love. The one who promises to uphold us through his love. And the one who promises to protect us by his love. Let us pray. Lord God, the hills cry out praise to you who brought them into being standing strong and upright. The rivers and streams whisper words of praise as they amble quietly over the moors, as they shout with crashing precision when they drop over falls and on into the seas. The myriad colours of greens and browns peppered with the colours of wildflowers, the heathers, the greys and blues of the skies all declare the greatness of creation which belongs to you, O Lord, creator of all. Lord Jesus, there with the Father and the Spirit at the beginning of creation, you murmur words of comfort, of healing, of challenge, of companionship to us today, as you have down through the ages past. In days of ease and days of persecution and toil, you have been and still are God. The God who comes alongside each of your children, bringing us strength and wisdom to live our lives for you day by day. In your mercy, please forgive us, as so often we stride out on our own, or timidly tiptoe through our lives, finding that our strength is not enough. Draw us back to yourself, we pray. As we remember our history and the people who came to worship in the hills, we remember that your church in many parts of the world faces face persecution. Draw near to each person involved today. May they know your presence in their lives, bringing them hope. We pray for the folk in prison for their faith. Come, encourage them to keep on keeping on. We pray for all who've suffered illness throughout this period of lockdown, all the families which have been affected in so many different ways. Come close to them, we pray, offering them the comfort that your presence alone can bring. Thank you for the many acts of kindness we've seen, the many folk who've gone out of their way to care for others. Bless each one today, Lord God. All of us are travellers on the journey through life. Sometimes our path is easy, sometimes very steep and rocky. 
it's so easy to stumble. We praise you that your promise is that your presence is with us every step of the way. You promise to be our guide. You promise to bring us your encouragement and your light to show us the way. May we step out once more for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our psalm that we will sing to finish is one that you will know very well. Psalm 121. I to the hills will lift my eyes. Although we're going to sing a slightly different version. There's stunning scenery to watch too. But before that, may I bless you. God make safe to you each steep. May God make open to you each pass. May God make clear to you each road. And may he take you in the clasp of his own two hands. Go, knowing the blessing of the presence of Almighty God, Father, Son and Spirit, at work in your life and through your life, today and every day. Amen. Oh, to the